Caves are among the last truly unexplored places on Earth. They draw scientists because they hold secrets about our planet's past. Fossils, rare minerals, even signs of ancient life. But some caves give back more than anyone bargained for. In these stories, researchers walked in searching for knowledge and came out with fear, trauma, or worse. These are real caves scientists truly regret entering. At first glance, Krubera Cave in the country of Georgia looks like like a normal rock opening. But once you go inside, it becomes a descent into pure darkness, over 7,200 feet deep, making it one of the deepest known caves on Earth. In 2012, an international research team entered the cave to study its underground water systems. Everything was going fine until a flash flood hit the lower chambers. Passages they'd crawled through hours earlier filled with rushing water, cutting them off from the surface. They had no radio contact, freezing temperatures, and oxygen levels that dropped fast. It took almost two weeks before rescuers could reach them. One scientist later said the darkness was so complete, it felt like being buried alive. This cave became infamous after that. Even experienced cavers now call it one of the most psychologically punishing places on Earth. Bushman's Hole is a vertical sinkhole plunging nearly 900 feet down into the earth, and it's entirely underwater. It's also one of the most dangerous dive sites ever studied. In 2005, a team of scientists and divers descended to document oxygen levels and geological formations. Deep underwater, they encountered a dense layer of silt that behaved like quicksand. One of the divers became trapped when the silt collapsed around him. Visibility instantly dropped to zero. The rescue attempt turned chaotic as lights and guide ropes tangled. The mission was called off, and the cave has since been declared too dangerous for further deep research. Experts later admitted they underestimated how the cave's pressure and loose sediments would behave at extreme depth. To this day, Bushman's Hole is known as a place that punishes even the best prepared scientist. It looks like something from another planet. The Cave of Crystals, located deep in the Nica mine in Chihuahua, Mexico, contains enormous natural crystals, some the size of small houses. When scientists first entered in 2000, they expected a quick geological survey, and they were absolutely wrong. The air inside was nearly 100% humidity and over 130 degrees Fahrenheit. The heat came from magma chambers beneath the cave, and the air was thick with toxic gases like hydrogen sulfide. Scientists had to wear pressurized cooling suits just to stay conscious. Even then, they could only stay inside for about 20 minutes at a time. Equipment melted, cameras fogged instantly. One researcher said he could feel his lungs burning after only a few breaths without the suit. The cave remains sealed today, and scientists call it one of the most hostile natural environments ever entered by humans. When scientists first mapped the San Dune Cave in 2009, they discovered something incredible. It was so large, clouds could form inside it. But as research expanded, explorers began noticing strange electrical interference. Equipment short-circuited, batteries drained without explanation, and radio signals disappeared entirely once they passed certain chambers. Some thought it was magnetic minerals in the rock, others suspected microclimate humidity, but no one has found a full explanation. Teams have described hearing deep, echoing booms like thunder coming from inside the cave with no clear source. Several research groups now refuse to go deeper than the main passage. Despite its beauty, many scientists quietly admit that this cave feels alive and like it doesn't want them there. In 2001, a team of polar researchers entered a newly formed cave inside an Antarctic iceberg. The goal was to study trapped air bubbles to understand ancient climate patterns. As they explored, they realized something terrifying. The cave was literally shifting. Cracks spread across the ice walls while they were inside. The sound was like thunder muffled in snow. A section of ceiling collapsed behind them, sealing their original exit. The temperature dropped sharply, and they could hear the ice groaning as the structure adjusted. They eventually escaped through a secondary tunnel, but the experience left the team shaken. Later analysis showed that tidal pressure had changed the entire iceberg's shape while they were inside. No one has tried to enter an iceberg cave that deep ever again. 
Lechuguilla is often called one of the most beautiful caves in the world, but it's also one of the most treacherous. Its passages twist through toxic hydrogen sulfide pools, razor sharp mineral formations, and pits that drop hundreds of feet. During one expedition in the late 1980s, a team of researchers collecting rare microbes misjudged a climb. A rope anchor failed, causing a scientist to fall into a narrow pit. He broke several bones, and the group was trapped without radio contact. It took a massive, multi-day rescue mission to get him out. Since then, this cave has been declared off-limits to most non-essential expeditions. Scientists now study many of its microbes remotely rather than entering in person. Everyone who's ever gone inside agrees on one thing. The cave is both breathtaking and terrifying. Moval Cave in Romania was sealed off from the outside world for millions of years. When scientists discovered it in 1986, they thought they'd found an untouched ecosystem. Instead, they found a nightmare. The air was loaded with hydrogen sulfide, carbon dioxide, and ammonia, gases that can kill within minutes. Yet somehow, life has adapted. Strange blind scorpions, worms, and bacteria thrived in the poison. Scientists could only stay inside with full respirators and protective suits. A single tear in the gear caused immediate dizziness and nausea. One researcher described feeling like the air itself was attacking him. The cave is now entered only a few times a year with strict precautions. Even with advanced gear, Moval remains a reminder that Earth still hides places not meant for humans. Human lungs. In Namibia lies Dragon's Breath Cave, home to the largest underground non subglacial lake. On Earth. When scientists first descended in the 1980s, they expected a calm, clear environment, but instead they were met with a suffocating mix of heat and chemical fumes. The deeper they went, the more disoriented they became. One diver reported seeing flashes of light and complete darkness. Others claimed to hear their names being whispered. Later tests showed that the oxygen near the lake's surface was dangerously low, while carbon dioxide and methane levels were abnormally high. The hallucinations were a symptom of oxygen deprivation. The research data they collected was valuable, but none of them ever returned. The cave earned its name not just for its temperature, but for the way it breathes waves of hot, toxic air like a living creature. In the 1950s, the Gouffre Bergère in France was the deepest known cave in the world. Over the decades, teams of scientists entered to map it, collect rock samples, and study its underground rivers. In 1996, one expedition ran into a freak storm on the surface that sent floodwaters rushing through the lower chambers. The team was 3,600 feet underground when they heard the water roaring toward them. They scrambled to higher ground and survived by clinging to ledges for nearly two days. The noise of the flood was so loud they couldn't even yell to one another. Several researchers later said they would never go caving again. This cave is still a target for exploration, but it's also a place that commands respect. As one survivor put it, quote, you don't explore it, you survive it. Cheve Cave in Oaxaca, Mexico is one of the longest and deepest cave systems ever explored. Scientists from multiple countries have spent decades trying to map it. In 2021, one of the latest expeditions faced a series of unexpected disasters. After days underground, the team realized that a key passage had collapsed since their last visit. The only way forward was through a narrow vertical shaft filled with unstable rock. While trying to clear it, part of the ceiling gave way, nearly crushing several researchers. Supplies were buried, communication lines snapped, and they had to spend an extra three days trapped underground. The psychological strain was immense. Some reported hearing voices or footsteps echoing from parts of the cave that weren't on any map. Geologists now warn that this cave's structure changes faster than expected due to underground water pressure. It remains an active study site, but only for those willing to accept that the cave decides who gets out. All right, guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Livy Kozlowski, and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.